Hello, it's me, Lori. I wanted to show everyone my coupon binder. I carry this coupon binder with me everywhere I go. Um, I do organize all my coupons in here. It makes it easy for me to find them. I'm going to go through that with you today. Here is a front pocket, a mesh pocket. I keep all my coupons in there for when I'm getting ready to check out. That way I have them ready and just hand them to the clerk. Open it up. I have another mesh pocket here. Has all my loose coupons that I need to go through and organize and file out. Then I have an ad here for our sprouts. This is a little pocket that I keep my calculator, a pen, a highlighter, and an extra scissors with a wrapping paper cutter, which is really nice because that makes it easy to cut something out really quick. So, of course, that's green, saving more money. Here is my master price list. I actually got this off of pinchingyourpennies.com. I've been looking for one of these forever, and it was really great to run across this. Um, Kingdom comes first. Um, she went ahead and had a little contest on coupon binders, and I found a link where this actually goes to, and I printed it out. I did do a little crafty thing here because I figured if I'm looking at it every day, I might as well make it something that's worth looking at. So it is one, two, three, about three pages long. The next section is where I have all my stores. I use these pocket dividers. I love these things. Um, I got this idea because I am a CNA and all the nurses at my hospital use these and they are wonderful. Um, I use one for each store and I get the fortune of shopping at least four grocery stores and then I have Walgreens and CVS. So um, I put all the ads in the first pocket so that way they're ready and available. If I have any questions or one of the store coupons like you see here, it's upside down, but um, that way I have it with me. I won't have to run around the store looking for their ad to get the coupon. So I put that in the front pocket. In the back pocket I have a little envelope. These envelopes I borrowed from my ATM teller machine. Um, it's those depository envelopes. They're really sturdy and strong, and they're free. So I use those for my rain checks. And then in between each store section, I have four pages of these baseball card holders, or as my daughter would call them, the Pokemon card holders. Um, I do have my frequent shopper cards in the front of each of those. Here's my one for bashes. That way I have it ready and it's available. And you see a Catalina here from Bashes that I probably need to be using up. It expires this, uh, September 12th. So I keep those up front too with the stores. Then here is Albertsons. Recently my favorite store this week. And there's the rain checks. Albertsons is running a little promo so I threw this back here where if you buy like certain amount of groceries, you get little stickers and you can get this free dishware set. So here is the Albertsons. They don't use the little card anymore because they guarantee the prices no matter what. And here I have fries. And there's my little preferred shopper card. And then this one's Safeway with their ad. Safeway's card. And here I have CVS. Um, I do go to iHeartCVS a lot. And then I belong to a group called CouponSense.com. They actually organize your coupons and your store ads. And it's a great way to shop for good sales. And then people will post on message boards special deals they got at like let's say CVS or Walgreens, I can go there and print out these little posts and know what they used and what coupons they used and then I can go buy those wonderful deals that they got also. There's my extra care cards and over here I have my folder with my ECBs, my rain checks, so that's all there. And then I have on Walgreens, and Walgreens has their little section, 
And then here I have like one of those little page protectors with the rebates. And I put an envelope in here for the receipt, so then that way I can keep them all in a place if I'm expecting a rebate. Then I can just go ahead and round file that receipt once I get my rebate. Here's Target. And then I have one for Costco. I put, I'll put my Costco book of coupons in here and any other specials that I might see coming along. Here's a blank one just in case the store comes up. And then this is my Coupon Sense folder. I usually um, take anything from Coupon Sense and add it in here. This is Wendy's Shopping Tips. Wendy is my instructor, which is really nice to have one of those because then if you have a question, you can be like, well, I have a question about this, and she can figure that out for you. So here is my coupon section. And I have it categorized in minimal, minimal categories just because I don't want to have a hundred tabs on here and all I have to do is go to one section to find it. And I did find on one of my sites when I was searching through that she had a section right up front that was for free coupons and I never had that. So I'm glad I actually went and searched through those sites to find all these wonderful ideas that the ladies were sharing. So my first section is household items. And of course you can see that that's like paper goods and cleaning supplies, um, anything that is a household item. Then I have a section on toiletries, which is like all the personal care items shampoos, toothpaste, lotions, razors. Then I have a section on health, which is like all your medications and anything else dealing with health. Like